Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we've got part two of the SHRC H1G. So let's start by it's flying by the way it flies. It flies really, really nicely. It does fly nicely. The only thing I must tell you is when you're doing the compass calibration, and it does tell you this in the manual, but you must do four times and wait for the beep, and then it'll beep. And once it's beeped, turn the camera up or down, it doesn't seem to matter, did it both ways? Four times again. But keep doing it until the lights change cut at the front. Once they've done that, it's fine. If you try doing it and forget, if you don't get it to beep, it won't get a full calibration. And it won't let you take off. So, when it's flying, it's really nice. So up in the air, it's very stable in the hover. There was no toilet bowling whatsoever. It flies really nice. So the only thing it does do is, and it's common with these GPS brush drones, especially the cheaper ones, is in turns, when you come into a turn it will lose a bit of altitude. It's quite simple to do, just remember to, as you're going into the turn to put a bit of throttle on to keep the level. If not it will drop. It doesn't drop to the floor, don't get me wrong, but it loses a, a couple of feet, maybe two or three feet in turns. So it's something to be aware of. But apart from that, it flies really nice. The LEDs are bright, you can see them in the sky. Now this version is a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and 2.4 GHz control from your transmitter. Now because of that I have massive issues with the phone with the app freezing which is bad enough but when you've not no SD card you're obviously recording straight to this so that's a massive downside for me but remember you can buy this in a 5.8 gigahertz 1080p this is a 720p. The other thing I've noticed is that mine will not record in 720p when I check the properties of the file once I've landed it's doing is 480 now that might be something I'm doing wrong but I can't see any way of changing it and I've flown hundreds of drones before or it could be something to just to do with this particular one. So the video footage is not good as you can imagine. Also it has follow me mode and all the rest of the things Now I have tried those out. So on the transmitter if you hit the you've got a follow me button and you've got an orbit button they do not work. So what will happen is when it's in the air and you have it in follow me mode you hit the button the drone will stay there but probably do that. No matter what you do, you can't line yourself in a shot because if you turn, it'll turn with you. It doesn't actually get you in the shot. If you try the orbit mode, all mine was doing was doing that and then it would just fly off to one side, stop somewhere, then fly over back again. I have no idea what it was doing. However, if you use the controls on the app, they work. So I have tested it on the app and they work something like, but because the camera's not great on here, there's no major benefit, but they seem to work fine when you use the app. It's not the best follow me mode in the world, it, it never is on these toy drones, but it does work. So, really, I don't know, it's, it's difficult for me, so if you want a drone that you want to learn to fly on, because to me this is that drone, this is fantastic. If you're not bothered about a camera, because I think, it, and I can't remember the price, the link's down below, because obviously I got this sent from Banggood, but you see the link, and I think the version with that's got this camera is quite cheap so this might be a great thing to learn to fly on because the GPS is that good on it it does it's a joy to fly but the camera's not the camera's not great it's awful to be fair if you want the camera version you might be better looking at the 1080p version I haven't had that so I can't comment on how good the camera looks and whether the other functions work the other thing you need to remember is these buttons on the remote won't facilitate that Return to home was really good, it landed within, I'd say, a foot, maybe a, maybe 18 inches from where I took off from, so no issues whatsoever, and I had it quite a distance away when I hit the button, so again, another good feature. And the battery life, I would get in 11 minutes. Now, the day I flew it, it was a minus, it was minus temperature, I think it was minus one, or maybe just even, so again, not a problem on the battery life, I'd imagine I'd get 13 minutes out of it if, it if it wasn't a cold day. I took two minutes off for the cold day. So yeah, so if you're looking for a drone just to fly around and not have a camera drone, it's probably great. If you want it the camera drone, no, I can't recommend this at all. But look at it, you can check out the 1080p one, because I'd imagine if this did have a decent camera, it would be a great, a really nice little start drone for camera. Because I reviewed the JJRC the other week, I can't remember what the model was. Um, Pride I think it was called this flies better than the Jersey RC so I'm going to leave you with some footage there isn't that much footage because the camera wasn't the best but you're going to get an idea what the camera looks like I've recorded some app footage you can see what the app looks like and I've got some footage of it flying with my GoPro so again you can see how stable it looks in the air 
Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. So you're going to see it take off and how stable it is in the hover. I was really surprised actually how well it locked in straight away. The compass calibration needs to be done accurately so to get it to do this. But yeah, it, it is a really nice smooth flyer. I really was impressed with the way it flew. Shocked if, to be, if I'm being totally honest for something this cheap. I had no issue with the resolution of the sticks which I presumed I was going to get with these controllers because I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of them but no it flew really really nicely. As you can see it's got quite a little, it's quite a good bit of power as well. It does drop a bit of height as you're going to see here as you go into turns. You can see it there, it dropped a bit of height but it's nothing you don't expect and if you watch now I just put a bit of throttle on when I do the next turn and you can quite easily get round that. It's not an issue when you know what it's going to do. But yeah, really nice flyer so Impressed with it as a flying drone, and like I said in the review, I think it would make a good GPS starter drone for someone that wasn't bothered about a camera. So this is what the screen recorder looks like. I've tried to download the image from the app that I got from recording on my phone, but it, won't, it for some reason the editor doesn't like it, so believe me this is as good as it looks anyway it doesn't look any better than this so all I've got is this footage for you but you can see it drops frames it freezes quite a lot here if you're wondering what it's doing it's trying to do follow me mode this is how bad it was in follow me mode and that's because I clicked the button on the transmitter I've since tried that I haven't got any footage of it but I've since tried it just by using the app and it seemed to work fine well as good as they do on this so all I've got is app footage unfortunately but you can see how not great it looks. Also in the top corner you've got an altitude and distance meter, they do not work. That is not 9.1 meters in the air and it's certainly in 6.5 meters away from me. And also throughout the flight, I think when I, t when I first took off and it was hovering, that you saw in the clip when I just had it hovering from when I first took off, I think it said something like at that point it was at 10 meters so you can't really go on how that works and also if you notice it's not really showing any speed it's up and down like a yo-yo the battery meter worked surprisingly well it really did uh, it was accurate it seemed to be anyway it didn't drop massively like sometimes they do it just went down one and two percent like you'd expect and it didn't massively come up when i landed the drone so all in all the app seemed to work quite well remember if you do buy one of these i'd imagine even in the 1080p version the follow me mode will only work when you use the app so you can still have it connected to the user controller, you just need to hit the button on the app.